Hello, and welcome to Every Persona Explained, where we take a look at the origin and representation of every persona. And today, we're talking about Yoshitsune. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. We're talking about samurai. Yoshitsune is based on Minamoto no Yoshitsune, a samurai from late Heian and early Kamakura periods. Born in 1159, Yoshitsune was born into less than amazing circumstances. The year after he was born, a conflict erupted between his clan, the Minamoto, and another powerful clan, the Taira. The outcome was less than favorable for the Minamoto. Yoshitsune's father and two of his older brothers were killed. He managed to not be killed and at 10 years old was left at the Kurama Temple north of Kyoto. Here, he trained under a monk named Kiichi Hogen, which apparently means Priest the First Demon, which is an odd name for a priest. Eventually, he decided the life of a monk wasn't for him and he left the temple. Now, Yoshitsune's story is intertwined with another guy named Saito no Musashibo Benkei, or Benkei for short. Benkei's history is questionable, but from what I was able to gather, he was a massive overlooking dude who was a Buddhist monk, although not the kind you might think. Japanese Buddhist monks tended to skew one of two ways. One was the traditional peace-loving monks, but the other was a more militant style, taking up weapons and fighting people. Benkei was one of the latter. He spent some time in Kyoto, and while he was there, he decided to take 1,000 swords from 1,000 samurai. There are conflicting reasons as to why he was doing that, but that's not important. What is important is that after collecting 999 swords, he ran into a young man playing the flute one night and decided that this poor fool would be the one to give him his 1,000th. This young man was Yoshitsune, and it did not go well for Benkei. After his defeat, Benkei became Yoshitsune's friend and retainer, giving the enemies to friends trope hundreds of years of precedence. So Yoshitsune eventually finds out one of his brothers that wasn't killed by the Taira, a man named Yoritomo, was raising an army to fight the Taira, aka the Heike, who had usurped power from the Emperor, and decided to join the fight. This ended up being known as the Genpei War, a civil war that will lead to the fall of the Taira and the establishment of the Kamakura period. Fun fact, the name Genpei is a mashing together of the alternate readings of the kanji for Minamoto and Taira. The alternate reading for Minamoto is Genji, which is where that guy gets his name. To speedrun things, the Minamoto start the war off with the time honor strategy of getting their shit rocked before turning it around in the second half and winning the whole thing. Yoshitsune, with Benkei in tow, won a number of strategic victories against the Taira, culminating in the Battle of Dan no Ura, where many Taira leaders were killed and the clan was left basically powerless. After the war, Yoshitsune's older brother, Yoritomo, established the Kamakura Shogunate with himself as the Shogun. This quickly became a problem as the new Shogun turned against his brother and branded him a traitor and an outlaw. There doesn't seem to be a consensus as to why Yoritomo betrayed his brother, but I lean towards the theory of he was jealous of Yoshitsune. Yoshitsune was a skilled swordsman and tactician and apparently became really friendly with the new emperor, and Yoritomo took that as a threat. Yoshi and Benny ducked the Shogun's men for a couple of years, but in 1189, they were cornered at a place called Koromogawa no Tachi, where Yoshitsune committed seppuku. Now, that's the end of Yoshitsune's story, but there's one thing about Benkei I want to talk about. And since he hasn't appeared in a Persona game, I'm going to talk about it here. With Yoshitsune deciding to retreat and commit seppuku, Benkei had one objective left. Square up against an entire army by himself. He stood at one end of a bridge and called out the entire enemy force to fight him. And boy did they try. Since he was at the end of a bridge, there wasn't a lot of room for that many people. So the army couldn't bring their numbers to bear. So small groups of men took turns getting absolutely slaughtered trying to fight Benke. One account I read said he killed 300 men this way. Eventually, someone remembered that they had arrows and shot Benke with dozens of them. And he just stood there like an absolute chad. After that, the soldiers didn't really know what to do and kind of just waited around. After a while, a crow came and landed on Benkei's shoulder, and he didn't react. So one of the soldiers carefully walked up to Benkei and realized that he was dead. And he had just stayed standing, because even in death, Benkei was a boss. And that's Yoshitsune and Benkei, badass samurai and friend to ogres. So how do the games represent him? Well, at first glance, it looks pretty good. He's got two katana, 
cool looking samurai armor and he's wearing an eboshi which you remember from my tomoe video because you watched that one already right 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 on closer inspection though there seems to be some issue here mainly the armor in the 12th century japanese armor tended to be a uh, boxier than this this looks like it's modeled after a more modern design and then there's the katana katana or at least what would become the katana did start appearing during the Heian period, but they weren't quite what we think of as katana now. However, he does get points for wearing them played up. Yoshitsune is categorized in the Tower Arcana. Upright tower can represent violence, chaos, and upheaval. Considering he was in a civil war, that's pretty accurate. It can also mean things like tragedy and adversity, which goes along with the betrayal that he faced by his brother. None of the reverse meanings really fit, though. P possibly carelessness? Maybe if he'd been more careful, his brother wouldn't have turned on him? Eh, that's a stretch. In P4, he gets some electric moves, but his high strength leads him more to the physical move. To that end, he has Brave Blade and his signature move, Haso Tobi. Haso Tobi, according to what I found, is in reference to Yoshitsune jumping between multiple boats to fight enemies, and translates to something like eight ship jump. I just imagine him at the Battle of Don Ura, jumping around from ship to ship, murking fools. In Q1, he only has one damaging move, Hasotobi, with the rest of the moveset being passives that support him handing out death. In P5R, he again has electric and physical moves, largely similar to his moveset in P4, and Q2 is similar to Q1, but with two damaging moves. And in Strikers, his moveset again focuses on doing lots of physical damage. His trait is Retaliating Body, which doubles counter damage. Odd if you look at his moveset, but when you see that he reflects both electric and bless damage, it makes more sense. It's also probably the leading factor into him being so high tier. And when itemized, he gives either Usumidori or Usumidori R, a weapon for Yusuke. This is based on something from the Heike Sword Scroll, a series of war tales that attest that Yoshitsune was given a legendary sword named the Usumidori that he used during the Genpei War. Overall, aside from the anachronistic armor and weapons, he's got really good representation. Now put Binkei in the next Persona game so he can get his own damn video. I already knew a lot of the information that was in this video. Uh, because in high school, I had an unhealthy obsession with samurai, so I did a bunch of research. So this was really just a refresher. Although I did not know about the Usumidori, or the, uh, the, the boat jumping attack thing. So, uh, no matter how much you think you know, you can always learn more. That being said, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And let me know who you want to see next on Every Persona Explained.